Thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode of The Art of Expression. For today's video, we will be painting the feeling of peace. As you can see right behind me, we have this gorgeous landscape that is very easy to follow along with. For today's video, I am using the medium of oil paint, but you can feel free to follow along with whatever medium you prefer, whether that be oils, acrylic, or watercolor. All you need for today's video is yourself, your paint, your paintbrushes, your canvas, and we can get into it. These are all of the paints you will need for today's painting. Starting off with our yellow, we have our Cadium Yellow Pale Hue. Moving on to our green, we have our Terra Verde or Tierra Verde in Spanish. Our blue shade is Cobalt Blue Hue. Moving on to our purple shade, we have our Ultramarine Violet color. And last but not least, you do have your Permanent Carmen. And of course, your most important shade, your white. You already knew that though. Here I am just beginning to make all of my hues. If this is your first time watching me, welcome to my process. I do tend to blend all of the shades that I need for my piece prior to starting the painting. This just ensures that while I'm painting, I have every hue I know I'm gonna need, gradually adding white to lighten it if I need it. As you can see, I am making my own pigment by lightly adding some of the primary color down. Of course separating each shade you want to make so for the blues I try to identify how many shades of blue I'm gonna need how many shades of pink I'm gonna need how many shades of yellow I'm gonna need etc before I begin blending them on my palette so for my three shades of blue I did just use that primary blue adding some white and then for this last shade you see me blending right here I did add a little bit of our purple color that we are using now I I moved on to a lighter pinkish purple shade I made here just by doing the same method applying a little bit of both of those primary colors again going in with some white something very important that I've learned while blending my own colors is to gradually apply your quick drying medium or your slow drying medium in the acrylics case but here we're using oil so I am using a quicker drying medium and making sure I am blending that medium in with my paints as I go so that everything is set up very nicely for me. Another tip I have learned while blending my own shades is to always pick up some of the shade you have already made grabbing some of it, moving it to another piece on your palette, and continuing to add a different color on top of that to make a very cohesive palette. This can be a little tricky at first if this is your first time blending your own shades of paint you're going to use, but I promise the more you do it, the easier it becomes and your eye just kind of starts seeing what it is you need to lighten and darken. Now I did want to go ahead and give a quick disclaimer. At the beginning of the video, you will see that I am making some green shades just by blending in some yellow, green, and blue, but towards the end of the piece, once I started applying these green shades, to my canvas, I did realize that I was missing two very important colors for grass, which were raw umber and burnt sienna. I added those in a little bit later. Please keep in mind your shades do not need to look exactly like mine. The goal is for you to have similar shades, if not shades that just look very close in hue so that our painting flows smoothly. Now that we have all of our shades blended, we can begin the painting. I have already prepped and primed the canvas. I also laid this burnt sienna acrylic shade all over the piece to smoothen the surface and provide a warm undertone. The first color we are going to go in with is going to be this darker shade of blue we made right here. We are going to gently lay this out on the top. This is one of my favorite brushes to use when it comes to painting sky, so I'm going to go ahead and pick that shade up and begin placing it very gently on the canvas, just like so. We are using oil colors, and these do tend to have a lot of pigment, and they are very bright and saturated, so a little goes a long way with oils it truly does a feeling of peace to me is having a deep sense of calm and also surrendering to whatever life has in store for you or is currently presenting to you sometimes we resist deeply 
the things that are going on in our lives because they're not exactly what we envision for our lives but the best thing you can do is just roll with what life throws your way everything always turns out better than you imagined anyways so now i'm just picking up this lighter shade of blue we created and i am placing it gently where i feel it should go best i am gonna put it right here and make a little And I'm also going to place it on this corner, but I am going to leave a nice empty space there for a very far away cloud. Just like that. Now I am going to pick up a bit of this purple hue right here and place it right here. I am not getting rid of the paint on my paintbrush just because I do want a deeper blue purple hue to come in this space so I'm just gonna pick this purple up and gently place it right here so you can see that's already giving the illusion of that cloud being further away just like oils blend very seamlessly as well so again a little bit goes a long way now right here, I also want to give the illusion of there being a cloud, so I'm going to add this purple shading right here as well. Nicely done. Painting to me is truly all about feeling calm and feeling peaceful and being present with the art you are creating. So if there's anything that's been on your mind, that you can't seem to let go of. That's okay. Just focus on each brush stroke you gently lay down and come back to the present moment. Because all we have is right now. In the same shade of purple, I'm just gonna place a little bit right here in this corner, pulling that shade up. That's nice. And I'm gonna lay some of that purple down over here as well. See, we're already getting a very nice gradient to start building our clouds. Going back in with this lighter shade of blue. Nice. I am going to go ahead in with a smaller round flat brush. And I'm going to take a little bit of this creamy orange shade we made and blend it with this blue shade. And we have this shade and I am just going to just... We're just making a creamier, lighter shade of blue to place right under here. Just like that. That way when we transition into our lighter shades, it just blends out very seamlessly. Just like that. Now I'm going to start adding some of our lighter pink shade right here just to start defining some of the clouds that we're going to have at the top. So I'm going to pick up this pink shade and just gently start placing it down on our canvas just like that. I'm going to add a little more pink and be dragging this upward onto that blue we had gently placed down. Nicely done. And I'm also going to add some more of that pink over here on the side. Going back in with the purple shade, I'm going to define some of this pink that we have taken to form our clouds a little more. Sometimes clouds will appear to you like you'll see certain shapes and you'll be like, yeah, I should add some depth or some highlight to this part. That's exactly what you should be doing. Nicely done, nicely done. Now, going back in with this lighter orange shade we have made, I am going to add some of this highlight to these clouds right in here. So now we know where the light is coming from. Back in with that pink, dragging it down a little more. 
just like that. Nicely done. Being peaceful to me is all about surrendering. Surrendering to whatever it is you're feeling, whatever experience you're having, whatever emotion is being presented in your body. Just fully surrendering to it, having no judgment, allowing yourself to be present with you, but also with any feeling you may have. I feel like a lot of the times we resist peace because we want to so badly control the way our life is moving. We really don't ever have control of anything that is happening. We just have to learn to be. And also learn to not judge yourself. Learn to not judge any feeling you may be experiencing. Learn to not judge your current situation or wish you were in a different place. Always trusting that your inner being knows exactly where to take you and exactly when to call you. And having freedom in that ultimately. Again, with this lighter shade of blue we have made, I'm just carefully placing that in, in this corner. At this point, our colors are still very thin. They are not too thick, so we can build on them, which is exactly what we want. Keep adding white to this blue, just to make it a little bit lighter. I'm just gonna make a big, star kind of shape right here. Just like that. Perfect. And we are not blending yet. We are just placing down all of our colors before we blend. And that is what you want to do. I use this method with acrylics as well as with oils, which I'm currently using. Now, I'm going to take more of that blue that we've created and I'm just going to add it in some places so I can start to leave space for more clouds that we're going to build. Picking up a little more white. I usually have the white on my palette but as you can see I have absolutely no space so we're just picking it up from a different palette on our side. Nicely done, nicely placed. Very gently. Allowing yourself to be here with your art, allowing yourself to be present, allowing peace to flow through. And again, I'm just making more space over here and I'm going to add some more white and I'm going to place that in this crevice right here. All I'm doing is just mapping out space where clouds could go because once we have the outline, it's easier to fill in. So down here, I am just getting a very white, light blue color peeking through. Wherever you feel it may go, it can go. It doesn't have to be perfect. We are just here to create, to explore, and to have fun. So as you can see, this already is giving you the illusion of clouds kind of flowing away from you, and that's exactly what we want. So now I'm going to go back in with this purple color. I am going to blend some of this deeper blue hue we had made, and I am going to lightly add it right here, just a tad, so when we blend, it looks very nice, as well as right here. And right here, just like that. Now some more pink. We are just having a very peaceful painting session today. We don't need to think much. We just need to be and flow with whatever it is you're feeling or life is presenting to you. Now I am going to go ahead and add some of this same mix of this purple and this blue shade we have made just right here in the corner. I want to really define one of these clouds, so I'm just going to do that. Nicely laid in there, just like that. Perfect. And we 
can also take more of it and add some more. Why not? Why not? Perfect. Okay. Now we are going to go in with this pink once again. Oh, I grabbed a lot of it. I don't need to worry. There's never really any mistakes in art or to Bob Ross. It's just happy little accidents, really. Now I am going to take some of this deeper pink we had made and I am going to add it right in here where I see it's best. Again, we are just building the shape of the clouds right now. We don't need to try so hard. If you don't like how it comes out, you can always add more on top or wait till it dries and then try it in later. Adding more of this light pink all around here. Just like that. Also going to pull some of this pink out over here. And I am going to go in with this orangey color and begin to place it right here in the middle. Just like that. Perfect. Just like that. Okay. Back in with the slighter shade of pink. Just dragging it down here. Just like that. Not trying too hard once again. We are just placing our colors where they potentially would look good. And if you make any mistakes, that's okay. Never really a mistake. Okay. As you can see, I'm just kind of free flowing where I feel the clouds would look best. It kind of looks a mess right now. Don't worry about it. We're going to blend it out and it's going to look really good, I promise. Going back in with this orange shade right here. Nicely done. Placing it very gently right here. And then I am going to take some of this purple. And put it right here in the corner. Nice. And a little more of this pink. really good to me. Okay, now we're going to go back in with this orange, mixing both these orange shades we have made. I'm going to pull some color on this corner just to create the illusion of more clouds coming through right here as well as up here. Why not? Why not? Very nice, very gentle. Doesn't need to be a lot of effort here. They're just kind of flowing. Sure. That looks good. I'm gonna go in with this lighter yellow and pull some of this lighter orange color together to add some extra warmth up here. Just like now for the blending of our clouds that we have made, I am going to go in with this BH Cosmetics Flat Fluffy Foundation Brush. And I am just going to lightly tap up in a circular motion. You always want to do it in a circular motion. Okay. I'm going to start from the corner right here. And as you can see, your clouds just kind of start blending all in together. There's not really any brush strokes. You're eliminating all your brush strokes right here. So you have a very smooth cloud painting. Every time you blend any dark color, you see how here I'm blending the blue in with the purple. Go ahead and wipe the excess paint off on a rag or a napkin or a paper towel and then go back in. That way your colors aren't becoming muddy and transferring everywhere. They just kind of stay where you place them. Perfect. 
I did go ahead and speed up some parts of this video just to save you some time because these parts are me simply repeating the things I have already shown and talked about. So for example, right here, you see that I am just pulling that same motion in with a smaller blending brush. I am simply going in circular motions lightly tapping the piece to blend all of the clouds or the scenery that I have painted so that I get a really smooth blend and base. I continued with that same blending method, the same hand movement, making sure I am using small circular movements to continue blending the piece. I did that for the remaining portion of this video as you can see me doing. I am just smoothing out any rough edges I see on the canvas to again make a very smooth base. Now I'm going to start defining some of these clouds so we bring them more to life and they pop a little more. I always get told how do your palette how does your palette stay so clean? It doesn't. <laughs> I just take a picture of it at the beginning. But here I'm going to go ahead and pick up this nice creamy orange we had made. And I'm just going to start defining some of these clouds very gently. I have this circular flat brush that I'm going to be using. And as you can see, it just flows very nicely in there. Add some up here. You're just giving a little bit more volume to these clouds. Looks good to me, but wherever you feel it fits best, please do that. You always want to listen to yourself as an artist. You always want to listen to what you want to do because then you're going to have the best result for you. It's very important. I am going to go ahead and add more definition to these right here. Here. And then kind of blending it out with the same brush. Nice. As you can see, we're just defining our clouds right now. That's very important so that your artwork looks real. Now I'm going to go ahead and define this darker cloud right here. I really want this cloud to have shape and life. So I'm just using that same brush making some tapping movements where it starts so that it has a little more volume again right here again wherever i see it fits best that's where i will add my shaping lately i've been feeling just really thankful for my life i feel like Growing up, I had such a hard time with accepting myself, such a hard time making friends. I was always kind of an outcast. And now I feel like I have this beautiful community and I have such a good relationship. I'm so thankful for my partner and I'm so thankful for my son. He is such a blessing in my life. I love my son so deeply. And all of these things just make me feel peaceful and happy. And calm and trusting and I just feel good but I say that to say that sometimes in life we feel like we don't have purpose or we just don't understand why we're here and we kind of get upset about that you know and I was in that place for a long time but now that I'm here I just really have such a deep sense of gratitude for everything that I went through, even the bad stuff, even the ugly stuff that I didn't wish I had gone through at the time I did go through it. Everything always ends up making sense. And I think that's such a beautiful, beautiful part of life is just allowing the universe to show you why certain things needed to go the way that they did. So just allow life to happen. Release control. Really be here for yourself, really be patient with yourself and trust that even if things don't seem like they're working out in your highest good, they always are. And everything always makes sense later, even if we can't see it right now. It felt like someone might have needed to hear that today because when I was in a deep, dark place with myself, it was very lonely. And I want you to know that you're not alone. You never are alone.
And if you need help, there's always people willing to help you and people who care. And I'm one of those people, even if I don't know you. I hope you know that I really do wish the best for you, whoever you are watching this video. Give grace to yourself. Be patient with yourself. Just trust your timing and allow life to show you where you're supposed to go or what you're supposed to be doing in life. Sometimes it isn't as easy as, as they make it seem, you know, but things always work out somehow, some way. And then you'll look back years later and smile because you're like, wow, it did. It did all work out. But if I would have given up on myself years ago, I wouldn't have gotten to experience this level of love and purpose and guidance that I feel now in my life. So ultimately, I'm just, I'm just really thankful for every single thing in my life, even the bad, even the ugly. It all brought me here. As you can see now, I am just highlighting and deepening what I feel needs to be highlighted and deepened. And that is completely up to your eye as a painter. So wherever you feel like you should add highlight or you should deepen the color, go ahead and do that. Trust yourself. I trust you. I trust that you'll make a beautiful masterpiece. As you can see, our clouds look very defined and very beautiful. And that is what we wanted, and we did that. So I am happy. I'm taking that purple once again, and I'm just going to deepen and lighten wherever I feel I should deepen and lighten. There's really no rules to this. It's really preference up to you, up to your artistic eye to see where things should flow, what to highlight and what to deepen. Really cool painting of the sky. You can stop here if you want. I'm actually going to continue to reflect this guy at the bottom and we're going to add some grass in here, which I feel like will look extremely beautiful. So if you want to continue, please do so. If you want to stop right here and you feel happy, please stop right here. Wherever you feel good about what you did, that's all that matters. Now we are going to go ahead and go in with the same flat brush. We are just going to reflect the top of the sky, mirroring it down here. So go ahead and clean off your brush on whatever you have to clean your brush off once again. And we are going to start applying our colors the same way we did on the top before we blend. So here I'm going to start off with this same shade of pink I see right here. And I'm just going to layer that in gently right here, just like that. Perfect. Since this is just a reflection, it doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be similar, is what I would say. So I'm taking the same purple I see right here, as well as right there, layering it down in here. And that lighter shade of blue right here mirror the top and we are just doing this visually by looking at what we have on the top and kind of trying to just reciprocate it at the bottom going in with the same method we had used to paint the top portion of the sky i am just laying down all of the shades i need on the bottom portion of the canvas before i blend anything out this is going to ensure that I'm mapping everything correctly so that it looks as close as possible as it can to being mirrored or having a water reflection down below. Once I was happy with all of the shades that I applied, I went ahead and took that same smaller blending brush and continued doing the same circular motion to blend and soften everything out. So I'm just taking that raw umber shade Blending it in with some of the green I had previously made, just very lightly like this. And you are going to create brush strokes flicking up like that, okay? Also know that the grass that is farthest away from you will not have that much defining and or detail. The one that's closer to you always will. So. 
to fill in the rest of the empty space here with some grass I continued using the same movement with my brush as you can see me doing here I am just taking some of the paint we have on our palette and slightly flicking that brush upwards it is a very flat brush so it creates the illusion of grass keep in mind like I said at the beginning the further away from you it is the less detailed it is and you can have some darker patches in here. The patches closest to the waterline should be the darkest patches of grass that you have. Um, to create the illusion of grass, I am going to take some burnt sienna as well. Taking some burnt sienna, adding that to our palette and picking that color up mixing it in with some green all we are doing here is just continuing the same movement you can add lighter shade of green where you see it would fit best here i am just using my artistic eye to dictate where the lighter shades of grass should go compared to the darker shades of grass so i am just filling that in again i am using the medium of oil so you can see me wiping any oil paint just into the canvas that might not have been placed where i originally intended it as long as you have a flat brush it is very easy to create the illusion of grass you are just going to continue using that same movement flicking it upwards until you are happy with what you have the blades of grass closest to you should always be a darker shade of green gives you the illusion of depth so that is what I'm doing Adding that darker shade to the front of our grass really creates the illusion of the grass being hit by sunlight on top of it and the darker shade that you see closest to you looks like it is in the shadows and also makes the grass appear very tall. Now I wanted to add a little very very faded out background mountain in the back of the piece to create even more depth so I just went ahead and blended some of that blue shade and a little bit of purple place that down now here I am reflecting the grass blades onto the water I am using the same hand movement just downwards instead of upwards now in this little blank space we left we are going to create the deepest shade gently tapping it in just like that just like that just gently tapping that dark umber shade just like just like that there you go do it all across where the grass meets the water very gently but very efficiently you can see that's already giving the illusion of that grass really coming to life just by gently tapping this bird sienna in all throughout the horizon just like that and the same color that you have placed down you can gently drag downwards just like that give those blades that are being reflected on the water of grass a very real nice illusion there just like that okay now we are going to go in with the final final touches of our painting i am just going in with this lighter green adding some of those strokes in here Just giving this grass a little more depth as you can see and over here as well going in with our final brush stroke right here and just like that we are done Together we have painted the feeling of peace and I truly hope you had a wonderful time following along with this piece. 
Thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode of The Art of Expression. I truly hope you had an amazing time painting with me. If you simply watch this video because you like art and you like paintings, but you don't know how to begin painting or what materials you need to begin painting, you can feel free to check out the rest of my videos. I have very useful information on acrylic paintings as well as oil paintings as well as beginner friendly acrylic tutorials and oil tutorials i hope to see you again next week if you found this video helpful please make sure you give it a thumbs up feel free to subscribe with the button down below as well as leave a comment and let me know if you found this video helpful if you felt peaceful while painting or any useful feedback you might have for me I read everything. I love reading your guys' comments. I hope to see you again next week. Have an amazing, beautiful day. The sky is blue. The sun is out. The breeze is nice. It's warm. Yes. I hope you have the most wonderful day today.